What's up? I'm Carl G. Richter. I'm a blended learning specialist. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a new world of learning. This is kind of a summary of a talk that I gave at the Tice Expo this week. And I want you to just kind of be aware that you may be thinking kind of like old world blended learning. You may be one of the people, you may be I'm a very progressive person working along with people that are thinking, okay, we have instructor-led training and we have online training. Of course, COVID has put a lot of it on Zoom, but that's really just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of different stuff that we can do with blended learning. So in this video, I'm going to give you an approach for how you can actually enter the new world. Come join me. So here's how you can see. Do you see statements like this around the office? We have either. If you're calling them CBT modules, you're probably ready to move past computer-based training and get past the fact that we're using a computer to do it and focus on the type of learning, the type of experience that our learners are having. So it's more than just face-to-face -face or CBT. You may have a lot of modules, a lot of things in your learning management system that could be described as fancy talking PowerPoint slides. I'm a big proponent of active learning. You want people thinking. You want people in the driver's seat making choices. You don't want them just sitting as a passenger, listening as instructors drone on or talking fancy PowerPoints drone on and, and talk through the different content. You want your learners to actually engage with the content and make choices and learn from those choices and develop real world skills. You may say, yeah, 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 Carl, I know, I know. We know there's a lot more, but we don't have the time or the tools that we need to do it. So that talk that I gave gets into a lot of the different tools that you can use. And you'll see in the comments that there is a link so that you can go and actually get a handout that tells you more of those. Uh, Mike Taylor presented the tools. I don't want to make a video saying, hey, here's all the great stuff Mike Taylor does. I would be up all night. Mike Taylor has an amazing bunch of things. You'll see his information in the comments section as well. You may be saying, hey, it's just too hard to get everything connected. How do we integrate? How do we create the new world of blended learning? So uh, what I want you to do is to stop thinking about whether computers involved. It doesn't matter if you're using a computer. What type of learning experiences are they learning? These experiences can come from one of four different sort of quadrants or exercises. I call them the four S's of blended learning. Synchronous, the things that you do together. Self-study, the things you do on your own. Support, which is the tools you look for when you're on the job and need to reference some different materials. And then social, how you learn and share with others. The new world of blended learning, you get to combine different experiences and mix these together in, in ways that suit your learners and their goals. So experiences you can create where everyone is synchronous, webinars, instructor-led, but also things like coaching and informal learning. The other type of experience is self-study. So uh, whether it's something you're just going through and you're taking modules in the learning management system that you've been assigned, your mandatory compliance training will help you learn some. Uh, you probably learn a lot more from videos. Uh, if you're disciplined, you learn from books. You may learn from just reading articles online. You may find really great things in your feed or on Twitter. Uh, you may listen to a lot of podcasts. All of those are fundamentally self-study activities. Look for ways that we work together and look for ways that we're going to study on our own. Add in some accountability so that we actually have to do that. It makes it a lot easier. Add a little bit of a community so that we can share and learn and discuss. That's a really cool thing as well. That's social. Uh, but the other S that I wanted to talk about was support. That uh, these days you just Google it, right? You can look things up as you go. We want to as learning experience designers, we want to design for the learners like in their moment of need. What do they need? When are they going to need it? Do they have to remember this now or do they have to remember it in six months? If it's in six months, let's just let them look it up. Let's send them a link. Let's make it a little QR code that they can pop something up on their phone and, and look for the thing that we need. So the modern world of blends includes synchronous, self-study, can include social, and it can include support. So my advice is to think of different ways to combine these different flavors, combine these different experiences. You don't simply serve up one thing. A blended approach includes a little bit of this and a little bit of that, includes some synchronous, includes some self-study, includes some social ways to learn from one another, and 
include support so that we can look up that information when we need it. So that is what the new world of blended learning is all about. And I hope you can use the four S's to help you come up with innovative designs that hit the mark. And let's create the new world of learning that we want to live in together.